Following on from the previous video, there are some things that I need you to notice before I show you the proof. So one of the things was that if you look at the uh, denominator, it's always increasing here, and there will come a point where where the denominator here will be bigger than the numerator. So we're going to call this m. And then uh, and then and then the other thing that I needed you to notice was that that you've got ten ten uh, ten terms at the top, ten at the bottom. So the number the number so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then here you've got ten at the bottom as well. So they both match up. They both match up. You're going to have ten at the top, ten at the bottom. So bear that in mind. That's another thing I need you to notice. So the the idea is that we we're, we're going to try and track this in between two things, and we we need we need this number m here, the first the first um, the first num the first denominator where it's bigger than the actual x itself. So this is this is the first one here. So we, so the idea later on is that we're going to cut it like this. It, it doesn't matter if you don't understand what what I'm talking about later on when when I show you the actual proof. Um, you, hopefully you will understand. And then the, the idea is we're going to cut out like this. And then the number of terms left here. So remember this is our magical m number here, a very important number that we will need m. So the number of terms left would be would be. Remember there are n terms. There are n terms, and then we've got to take away, uh, take away this many terms here, so which will be m. So what's left over here would be would be n minus m. Don't worry if you don't understand what I'm going on about. Just just no, just bear that in mind. Um, so so the, later on, the idea is that we're going to cut out like this, and then um, and then anything. So here you've got one fraction, here you've got another fraction, here you've got another fraction, and so on. If you look at this fraction here. If you look at this fraction here, this fraction here will pound. If, if, if you look at this fraction here, uh, so five uh, plus one. So if you compare this fraction, if you compare this fraction here, which is this fraction here, this fraction here will uh, will, will will be smaller or, or strictly smaller, but let's just say smaller or equal to to uh, to this magical m here, four over m. Uh, well, it, it, four over. Okay, not m then. Five. So, so if, if you look, because we're we're making the denominator here, we're making the denominator bigger. So that means the overall fraction would be smaller than this thing here. And then, and then if you look at this fraction here, if you if you look at this fraction here, if you look at this fraction here, it would be four over five plus two. Uh, if you you see this fraction. This fraction here will be smaller, or equal to, or smaller than four over m. This this m this magical m here. Okay, not m. Then five. The 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 point here is that we we'll, well remember our, our aim here is to track this. Well, this thing here will be less than or equal to. Um, well, later on we're going to use this um, this this magical m here to track this. Okay. Because because if you look at this, this thing. So later on, we can say, well, we can say uh, that this will be uh, less than or equal to to uh, four over m, and then this thing here will be uh, less than or equal to four over m, and then this fraction here will be less than four over m, and so on. So so really, what's what what, what we're going to have? All all that's left here will be. Uh, would be four over m to the power of whatever the number of terms left over here, which was uh, n take away m. Okay, don't worry if you don't understand this. Um, well, when I show you the proof, hopefully you 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 uh, you will get a, the idea of it. Okay, so so it doesn't matter if you don't understand it. Watch your proof in the next video. Okay.